is just something I like to have every now and then. Um, you know, as like a cheat meal, but brown rice pasta is a lot better. Stay away from the right white pasta and portion sizes, guys. Portion control. I can't emphasize how important that is. Having certain, you can have any food you want, but you know, because at the end of the day, the only thing that matters is how many calories you're intaking versus how many calories you're burning. If you're not even intaking as many as you're burning, you're not even going to gain weight. So, um, just don't go overkill with some of these foods, you know, and you'll be awesome with it. So, next thing I have, oh, what do we have here? Dark chocolate. So, dark chocolate, guys. Um, these aren't mine. No, I'm kidding. They are mine. I put them in my oats every now and then, so I'll throw like three or four in my oats just to give it some flavor, you know, if I'm really feeling down. Um, but I'd rather do that instead of going and getting, you know, a cheat meal instead of getting some junk. That is a cheat meal, guys. So you can still look forward to great things. Um, if I'm not close to a show or a photo shoot, why not? You know, you can enjoy life a bit. Um, enjoying life doesn't mean going to McDonald's. That's screwing your life. So make a smart decision there. Spices, condiments, what's here? I have cinnamon, I have sea salt, pepper, lemon pepper, uh, vanilla extract, Cajun spice, paprika, chili spice, curry. Why do I use those? Those uh, things like cinnamon are blood sugar regulators. They control your blood sugar levels, your insulin levels, so they're not jumping all over the place, going up and down. You're more likely to store fat that way. Your energy levels, um, even depression can be increased with that, guys. So stay away from foods that are going to do that to you, but stick with foods that will help with that. Um, the cinnamon is going to control that, but they're also, more than anything, all of these are natural thermogenic. So thermogenic, you've probably seen that on a fat loss product. They call it a thermogenic. It means you're going to burn fat, guys. Um, they, they're going to help with that. So spicy foods are usually good for that and, and spices. So that's what I mean. You don't have to go with the ketchup and things like that. You can go with these types of foods um, that are going to do that for you naturally. And you know what? They're found on God's earth, guys. So it's not you're not getting it from, you know, from a guy in a factory that put 30 different ingredients in it that you can't even pronounce. If you can't pronounce it, don't eat it. It's that simple. Um, you know, unless you just don't know how to say the word cinnamon, then I can't help you. But um, I have a few things here, like some molasses, you know, I'll throw that in the oats every now and then, or, you know, as topping for my protein pancakes. Um, coconut oil. So, this is what I put on my skin. Um, it should be in the washroom, but no, I'm just kidding. It's uh, You could cook with this in the pan. You can use it, you know, it, it's actually good for your skin as well. So, a lot of people don't know that. Um, and you know what? It's... Great guys, it's a good source of fats, so it can go along here with the rest of the fats. I use Pam every now and then to cook with, um, but I'll use coconut oil as well. Another thing I want to show you, I got Tabasco all stacked up there. Tuna, uh, canned tuna is great, you know, we all had it when we were like 16, 17 years old, we know that, I still eat it every now and then. Um, why? For a couple reasons, it's a good source of protein, um, it, you know, any fish is good, um, it's a good source of protein. But you know what, it's, for what you pay for it, it's great. So you know, you're not paying too much for it. The only thing I would recommend is don't buy any flavored ones. What I would do is rinse it in the water. So drain it a couple times, strain it a couple times. Um, and that way you get the sodium out of it because they use sodium to retain it, to store it. Um, so drain it out so the sodium gets depleted from it and then spice it up yourself with spices. Um, a tip, use salsa in it, you'll love it. Salsa and lemon's great. Another thing I didn't show you, Perfect. I'm show you guys this. White fish. So I have a lot of white fish here. Tilapia. Why do I use tilapia um, as opposed to a salmon? I like salmon. You know, it's a good source of fat. But if I'm trying to get lean or trying to maintain a low body fat, um, there's very little fat in this. No carbs in it. It's high in protein. Um, you know, so for what you're getting, it's really good. Um, tilapia is a great fish. Um, cod is another great fish. Orange roughy is another great fish. So white fish are excellent, guys. Um, so we're all done there. Showed you everything I wanted to show you. Let's come over here. So, damn, I didn't even know I had this many. Another almond butter. Another almond butter. Oh, man. Sometimes I just buy them. I don't even think about it, right? So have some teas, you know, green tea, things like that. Um, Mexican coffee. So, sorry, uh... Hawaiian coffee, uh, Mexican hot chocolate. I got, there's a Hawaiian coffee there. Um, I got a little stack here of brown rice, some more oats. These are not gluten free, they're regular. Some more almond milk. 
I got some slivered almonds. So as you can see guys, the fats are amazing. Fats are what just, you know, it's all about being healthy. Before, before putting your body um, first, you know, which some people do by taking certain things that they shouldn't, don't put your body first, put your health first and your body will follow. And that's, that's the most important thing guys. When you're in a positive, healthy environment, when your body is in that um, alkaline state, so it's not acidic, right? Um, that's why I use a lot of lemons and limes on in my water, in my on my salad, to keep your body alkaline. So when your body's alkaline, I believe over, if you're under, it's on a scale of zero to 14, um, if you're like a seven or below, you're considered acidic. Um, nine or above is good. So you can do that test. You can go anywhere and get it done to any health store and get the strips. Um, and you, you know, you can see your alkaline or acidity level. But you know, putting lemon in your water, things like that, staying away from certain foods. You know, bad foods, processed foods are going to help keep your body alkaline rather than acidic. So when you're in an alkaline state, a positive state, your body's going to function a lot better. You know, it's like putting gas in your car. Do you put you know, you buy a Ferrari, do you guys put the worst gas there is? You know, you put the best gas there is um, to make it run. So even if you have a Ferrari and you're putting crappy gas, it's not gonna run at maximum effort. So you wanna give your body what it needs so it can run, you know, at the best pace possible and, and function properly the way it should, the way it's meant to be functioning. So, um, you know, stay away from foods that are gonna put you in an acidic state. And that's that, that's a rule I follow. And when, when I follow that, my body feels great, my workouts are great, my health is great, my energy is great. Um, and then I just burn fat like crazy. So it's a very important tip, guys. You should really take that with you. Um, what else do I got here? I got some more oats. Uh, these are some beans I like to add in my diet. I got some coconut milk. Um, canned beans, you know, they're not the best. Uh, just like canned tuna, you know, they're high in sodium. So I like to strain them out, drain them out. Um, but I do try to look for the low sodium ones so they're not too filled with sodium. Um, and you know the reason they put sodium in everything to preserve it. So they can have it on the counter tops, guys. So they can keep it on the shelves for a long period of time, even if people don't buy it. So try to stay away from foods with very high sodium. Sodium's good in moderation. Our bodies need sodium. So don't deprive it from it either. Um, I got black beans, mixed beans. Um, but you know what, I just put that in a salad, you know, it makes it taste great. Just try not to go overload on it because they are high in carbs. Um, but you know what, a lot of foods are high in carbs, good carbs, but it, it's all about moderation, knowing when to have it at the right times. And that's for another video, but I'm going to definitely sh keep up to date with you guys and show you when to eat certain really foods. I hope that you guys learn from this. Um, I got some supplements in there, so I'm not going to show you. I'm going to have to hide that from you guys. but. Um, that's for another video and I'm definitely going to show you all the supplements I take but I'm going to give you one secret. There's not a lot of supplements and the reason why is because what I showed you in there. All the vegetables, all the fruits, um, when you have all that you're getting your vitamin B, A, K, E, F, whatever, every vitamin from A to Z guys, you're getting it all, you're getting all the nutrients, all the fiber. What do you need a supplement for? Um, I believe in taking supplements that, you know, to maximize what you're already doing but you know if you're wasting your money on supplements that you know, give you 17% of the 100 milligrams of whatever it says, what's the point of that? You're wasting your money. So, um, emphasize your nutrition on foods that are good for you, foods that are healthy for you, like I showed you in my kitchen. You know, I really hope you learned a lot from it because, uh, you know, a lot of people had very common questions I receive on my blog, on my website, on my Facebook that, you know, they want to see what I eat. You guys want to see what I eat. So now I showed you, um, and I'm going to show you how I prepare a lot of foods. and. And you know that's that's also important as well because it's not just about how you eat, it's when you eat it, how you prepare it, and how you combine foods. So combining foods is key. Um, so check it out, guys. Try it out. Try stacking your kitchen the way I do. Um, not with the chocolate chips, so don't go overkill with that um, or the wine. But everything else is good, and I hope you guys learned something.